Hey, what's going on, friend? Dr. Del Toro, welcome back to my channel. Listen, I'm incredibly excited about this series that we're doing on one of my favorite books. I wrote this book several years ago. It's called Thriving Through Your Storms, 12 Profound Lessons to Help You Grow Through Anything You Go Through in Life, my friend. talk to you listen it's post pandemic i want to talk to you about a concept called meaning m e a n i n g meaning okay and the reason why this conversation is so important is because i believe something that one of my great mentors and teachers taught me a long time ago about 25 years ago tony robbins taught me this he said nothing has any meaning absent of the meaning that we associate to it. I'm gonna say that again. Nothing has any meaning except the meaning that we associate to it. And so here's what happened, y'all. One of the biggest things that prevents us from thriving through our storms, because here's what I firmly believe. Life is not about waiting for the storms to pass. Life is about learning how to dance in the rain. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again. Life is not about waiting for the storms to pass. Rather, it's about us learning how to dance in the rain. Listen, you can only be in three places in life. Either you're in a storm, you just left the storm, or you're heading towards one. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day Fred, we all need to know how to maneuver in challenging situations. Does that make sense? But one of the things that I firmly believe is that we have to understand the importance of meaning and that nothing has any meaning except the meaning we give it. And here's the truth, y'all. All day long, we experience different things in life. And what happens is we don't live what happened. We live our representation of what happened. I'm going to say that again. You don't live what actually happens in your life. What you actually end up living is your representation of what happened. And what determines your representation of what happened is the meaning you assign to what happened. Did you catch that? I'm going to say that again. So, for example, right, let's say you get laid off from a job, okay? So, you've experienced a layoff. You don't really experience the layoff. What you experience, let's say you experience a layoff at the age of 20. You don't experience a layoff. That happens in corporate America all the time. You experience what you assign as the meaning to that layoff. So, for example, you get laid off and all of a sudden you say, I'm not a good employee, they didn't need me, I'm not necessary, I'm not important, they don't care about my bills, nobody cares about my bills, um, there's always way more qualified candidates out there, I'm always gonna struggle to find money, I'm always gonna struggle to find a job, I'll always be an entry level em employee. Those are 10 things that you attached as meaning to one event. So when you're 21, 22, 23, 24, 30s, 40s, 50s, you're not living the layoff. What are you living? The meaning that you attached to that layoff. Did you catch that? You attached all this stuff to the layoff. So you don't live the layoff, you live all of the meaning that you attached to it. You're not living the divorce. You're living all of the attachments that you put to what that divorce means to you. You're not living the fact that your company failed. You're living all of the stuff that you attached to that business going south, right? And listen, I wanna apologize to you for any adversity and hardship that you've experienced because pain is not prejudice. I'm gonna say that again. Pain is not prejudice. Adversity knows all of our addresses very well, right? And pain does not show up and give us advance notice before it arrives. Did we get an email in advance saying COVID was coming? No. <laughs> Before that car accident, do you get a text message? No. Before that medical diagnosis, do you get a letter in the mail? No. Adversity just shows up and we have to deal with it. But it's what meaning you associate to it. Okay, so someone breaks up with you. Do you say, okay, they're gonna be better off without me. My life is a wreck because that person's no longer in my life. That's meaning you're attaching to a breakup remove all of that negative meaning that you've attached to the breakup and say, okay, I experienced a breakup. 
This is life giving me a chance to increase my standards, change my perspective, heal, and attract the ideal soulmate for my life. See what we just did there? Now, that breakup doesn't have a negative meaning. It's got a beautiful meaning because it gives you a chance to begin again. It gives you a chance to start over. And it gives you a chance to, 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 to literally thrive at a higher level. Isn't that powerful? So let me just ask you honestly, is it possible that somewhere along your journey of life, in your past, you have negatively processed certain events from your past and you've attached a lot of negative meaning to what that event means. And is it possible that right now is the time for you to shift the meaning that you associated to that challenging event? Is it possible that right now is the time that you shift into a higher gear and create a positive meaning around the events from your past that you cannot change? I just talked about this on the Today Show. 69, depending upon who studies you believe, 69 to 78% of people feel stuck in the past. And what's amazing about being stuck in the past is, my friend, there is absolutely, positively, nothing that you or I or anyone can do to change the past. It's unchangeable. What we can do is use the lessons from the past to empower our present and to prepare us and to propel us powerfully into the future. You know, I teach this all the time. When in, 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 in the motorcycle world, right? Uh, you know, I ride a motorcycle. The back wheel is bigger than the front wheel. Why? Because the back wheel represents your past. That's why it's a big, thick, fat tire. Does that make sense? But that's what propels you forward. So leveraged past propels us forward. Isn't that powerful? I'm going to say it again. Leveraged past propels us forward. But if you sit on the motorcycle of life backwards, looking at the past all the time, there's no way you can succeed. You're going to crash fast. And it's not going to be a car that hits you. It'll be a tree. <laughs> My friend, do me a favor. Get rid of any negative meaning that you've associated to the events of your past. Attach a positive, empowering meaning to the things that have happened to you and say, listen, instead of it happening to me, this incident happened for me and it's made me a better human being. And y'all, I get it. Sometimes that shift takes time. It takes coaching. It takes therapy. It takes talking it out. It takes writing letters. It takes forgiveness. I get it. I understand but it's necessary for your next level. Life didn't happen to you, it happened for you. And you must change the meaning that you associate to the things that have happened in your life. I'm here to help you thrive through your storms. Hope you get massive value out of this. Listen, fire off in the comments, hit the like and subscribe button, turn on notifications, let Lottie Dottie and everybody know that you're getting massive value out of this content. Tell them about this channel so they can subscribe as well. Know that I'm somewhere around the planet believing in you, believing for your success, and excited and cheering on you, cheering for you as you thrive through your storms and as you shift your life into a higher gear. We'll talk in the next video.